What? I'm sick, can you get me some water? What? Since when were you sick? I woke up sick, can you just get me some water? <sighs> Alright, I'll get you some water. What? Logan, can you get me some milk? You can go and get your own milk, you're not disabled. No, Logan, I'm so sick. Can you just get me some milk, please? Ah, <sighs> alright. Here. No, can you just get me the bottle? The whole two litre bottle? Yeah, please, I just want all the milk. No, can you just put the glass of milk back in the bottle? What the f***? How am I supposed to do that? Just use a funnel or something, I just... I'm sick, Lachlan, please. What? Can you make me some toast? No! Mom, Lachlan won't help me when I'm sick! Lachlan, make your brother some toast! For f sake! Alright, can you make four pieces, but two of them Vegemite and two of them Nutella? Do you want anything else? Can you give me some more milk? Oh, fuck, did you drink all the milk? Please, Lachlan, I'm sick! What kind of sick person drinks two litres of milk in 20 minutes? I'm feeling weak, Lachlan, please just fix me some toast! Lachlan! What? Sandwiches! F off! Lachlan, make Jackson some sandwiches! For f sake! That's it. It's over. I'm not doing anything else for you. Actually, I was just wondering... No, I'm not getting you anything else. I'm done. I'm leaving. No, but I was just wondering if you could cook me a roast chicken and vegetables for dinner. What the f***? No! No, I'm not doing that for you. Please, Lachlan, I'm really sick! I don't give a f*** how sick you are. Mom! Lachlan won't cook me a roast chicken even though I'm sick. Oh my f***ing god! <laughs> hey Lachlan, I put some toast in. Do you want it like lightly toasted or heavy or what? Oh, I don't really care. Just do it however, however you usually do it. Okay. What? Well, like, that's not quite... That's a little bit underdone. The f*** did you just say? Well, like, I know I said you could use your own judgement, but... It's perfect! Well, I mean, like, almost. Lachlan! This toast is perfect! Jackson, that's basically warm bread. I am a culinary genius! You had to Google how to cook an egg. There's a lot of interesting variations, and I had to find which one was for me. You ended up just putting it in a bowl in the microwave. Why don't you shut your damn mouth and have some appreciation for what I've done? You put some bread in the toaster and popped it before it was done. I took a risk, Lachlan, and that's what cooking is about. The toast isn't cooked, Jackson. I firmly disagree with you. Can you just put the toast in, like, a little bit longer? Alright, fine. What? Well, I mean, like, that's, you know that's a little bit over, over toasted now, isn't it? No, no, this is fine. Well, it's a bit over, it's a bit over toasted, I'm not going to lie to you. What does it take, Lachlan? What does it take to please you? Well, I suppose if you just left it on the regular setting, that, that would have been fine. The toast is fine. It's fine, but it's, it's not great. This is great. This is great toast. Well, yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's good toast. I know. A little burnt. No! This is perfect toast! You know what? It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll eat it. I'll enjoy it. Yes! Yes! Thanks for putting the toast in for me, Jackson. It means a lot. Lachlan, you're welcome. What? Well, now it's cold. Oh my god! Hey, Jackson. How did you um go with the PowerPoint? The what? I asked you to do the PowerPoint because I was busy. I thought you were going to do the PowerPoint. Shit, I thought you were going to do it. Lachlan Jackson, it's time for your presentation. You got five minutes, I hope you're ready. Oh shit, we've got to come up with something in five minutes? Hello. I'm Lachlan. And I'm Jackson. Welcome to our um, PowerPoint presentation. presentation. We did our presentation on... <laughs> Otters. Otters. Today we, we will, will be, be presenting, presenting a, presentation a presentation about otters. otters. What are they? Where are they from? What are they um, eat? These are all great questions. There are 13 species of otter found all around the world. The otter... <laughs> go on, go on. <laughs> The otter is a carnivorous mammal in a branch of the weasel family called the latrine. Uh, otters are very cute and when they are babies they have little baby noses. 
Some otters are bigger than other otters. These ones are <laughs> big otters because they are larger than <laughs> small otters. Fuck. Otters can be found all around the globe. <laughs> In such places as Canada, Russia, uh, Venezuela, Ice Iceland, Syria, Syria, Canada, Canada, Madagascar, Indonesia. Otters, otters like, like to make dams, dams to stop, stop the, water the water from running from too fast. Yeah. This otter was like, whoa, slow down, water. I know what you're thinking. What do otters eat? We were thinking the, the same, same thing. thing. That's why it was so pointless. We were thinking the same thing. You wouldn't be allowed to do that. Some people think otters are ugly. Other people think, oh, think that they are beautiful. They are clearly... <laughs> That's not an otter. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's an otter. <laughs> In summary. <laughs> Otters are cool. Otters are friendly. Otters are always plotting. Otters are dangerous. <laughs> Otters are not dangerous. <laughs> the, end. the end. Right. Dennis, could you just grab the lights, please? Boys, what the f was that? Oh, I wonder what the time is. <gasps> Jackson, Jackson, wake up, wake up. Mum, mum, mum gets home in, in one minute. I didn't do any of the jobs! Did it. <sighs> is that mum? What the fuck is this mess? <laughs> Hi, welcome to Subway. Hi, can I get a meatball sub? Sure. Are you not gonna ask me which bread I want? Oh yeah, shit, which bread do you want? Italian herbs, thanks. Excellent choice. We're out. I can see it right behind you. We're out. I'm, I'm looking at one right now. I called dibs on that one. You can't, I'm a customer. I'm a human too. I never said you weren't. Where's the manager around here? I'm the manager. You're kidding me. Is there any other bread that you would prefer? Oh my God, regular white bread? Sure. What's next? What do you mean what's next? You're the one in control. Do you want any fruits? Fruits? What the f Sorry, vegetables? Can we start with the meatballs? Yes, of course, these ones? That's ham. Oh, uh, these ones? That's chicken. Oh yes, of course, this one. That's cheese. This one? You're pointing at lettuce. Oh shit, this is gonna be tricky. What's going on here? Sorry sir, I'm partially blind. What are you doing working here if you're blind? I never told anyone I was blind when they gave me the job. Aren't you the manager? Yeah, I just minded my own business until everyone above me got fired. Why was everyone else fired? I convinced them one by one that you could bring your pets to work. What? I would send a message like, Hey Grant, Tomorrow's bring your pet to work day. And he would send back, no it's not. And I would say, yes it is. And then Grant would bring his dog to work and then he would get fired for a health code violation. You did this to every person? Yes, would you like any toppings? Vegetables? We got strawberries, pears and apples. What the f*** is it with you and fruits? Would you like a complimentary sprinkle of brown sugar on your sub? That's gotta be the weirdest thing I've ever heard of. Weirder than soaking your whole sub in pickle juice? What? Yeah, that's weirder. So you don't want me to do that? No! Look man, I think you should eat somewhere else. Have you ever served a customer? No. 
Do you make money? Don't be ridiculous. Can I have an apple? Sure. We're out of apples. Oh, for ship it! Hi, I'm Jackson, and these are some things that suck. When you go to open a carton, and then the whole experience just turns to shit. Oh, f this piece of shit! When your tractor won't start. My tractor won't start! When you go to do a zipper, and it does this shit. I hate my life. The constant, ever-present, slow march towards your inevitable death. When your shoelace comes undone. Well, this is slightly annoying. My girlfriend. Get it? Because she sucks. Just kidding, I don't have a girlfriend. I'm going to be alone forever. When you draw one really good eye, and then the other eye, it's just a piece of shit. When Lachlan eats your muffin. Lachlan, is that my muffin? Yeah. Oh. I was going to eat that. When you stub your toe. <laughs> the fact that in a thousand years, no one will remember you, and nothing you've ever done will matter. When you step on a Lego brick. Ouch, I stepped on a Lego brick. Yep, <coughs> that was the video. Um, share and like and tag and shit if you want. I don't really care. So. doing? Having a refreshing glass of water. Did you heat that up? Yes. Why? I like warm water. Jackson, no one likes warm water. I like my water warm. Stop hassling me. It's 45 today. Sometimes you gotta make sacrifice for what makes you happy. Is this a joke? There's nothing better after a hard day's work than a warm glass of water. Oh yeah, you know the serial killer you've been looking for? Yeah, I think I may have a lead. What are you doing? Doing what I should have done the first second that I saw this. It's not that weird. It's very weird. It's like the time that I caught you eating powdered milk. My saliva mixes and it turns into regular milk. What? Look, Lachlan, not everyone's the same. You gotta start accepting people for who they are. Don't turn this into a moral lesson. You're the one drinking warm water. You gotta try some. No. Come on, try some. No. Lachlan, you can't judge me if you don't try it. Fine. And? It's warm fucking water. How good? You're a psychopath. A hydrated psychopath. Have you been taking water out of the fridge and putting it in the microwave? Not today, but usually. What? I'm just checking to see if there's a brain in there. Typical of you cold water people. Always snarky. Cold water people? Jackson, that's everyone. We're just gonna have to agree to disagree. I'm not agreeing to that. So you're disagreeing to disagree? Or you're disagreeing to agree to disagree? What? Oh, can I have some of that? Sure, what do you want on it? No, that's fine how it is, I like my toast dry. It's a warm one today, hey. A warm one? It's f***ing 47 degrees. 47? 47. What's that in Fahrenheit? Why? Because a lot of our viewers are from America. Well, that's 116.6 degrees Fahrenheit then. F that's disgusting. It's literally dangerous to be outside. Ah! Everyone says Australia is so good, but they always forget about the one week a year when it literally turns into a f***ing oven. We need to do something about it. You mean protests against global warming? No, not a long-term solution. I say we split off and try and come up with some ideas on how to beat the heat. Alright Lachlan, what you got? This one's called Face Fridge. It's an old favourite. You simply open the fridge and put your face in it. Wow, let me try. And I even invented an extreme version. It's called Face Freezer. No. Yeah, look. That is insane. This one's called Splash Time. Yeah. Well, what you do is you, you set an alarm for every five minutes and then you just do whatever. Yeah. And then your alarm goes off and it's Splash Time. That's Splash Time. Yes. You throw a cup of water into your face every five minutes. Yes. That's brilliant. All right, this one's called Ice Bed. Yes. You put ice in your bed. Then when it's sleep time, cold bed. Yes. This one's called Cold Feet. Ooh, what is that? Your shoes in the freezer. I've got one. It's called Fridge House. You open the fridge, leave it open, 
And then the house will become the same temperature as the fridge. That makes sense. This is called lie on the floor. Oh, what are you? Thought it, I thought it was gonna be something like that. All right, I got one last one. Let's do it. You ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, it's called drink cold water. Wait, 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 I've got a better idea. Drink warm water. Because when you drink cold water, it leaves room for you to warm up. So if you drink warm water, it only leaves room for you to cool down. I cannot argue with that. All right, that's done. Now I just need some sauce. Come on. Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Oh, for God. Are you fucking kidding? Oh, no. Jackson? Mm hmm. What's this? Ah, uh, this is sauce. No, what, temp what temperature is it? It's cold. Why? Because I put it in the fridge. Why did you put it in the fridge? Because that's where it belongs? No, it's. Sauce belongs in Jackson, we've been through this. Sauce belongs yeah, in the cupboard. Yeah, we have been through this. Sauce belongs in the cold boy. It belongs in the cupboard. It belongs in the fridge. Well, you know what? We're not getting anywhere yelling about this. We're going to have to... We're going to have to sort this out. You know what this calls for? What? I think it's time for another Fairburn investigation. Oh, uh, Jackson, we've got to get to the bottom of this and quick, because the clock is ticking. Oh, like that clock doesn't have a seconds ticker, but the minute hand is moving slowly. All right, we need to establish a perimeter. We got fridge and cupboard. So close, yet so different. All right, let's go over some pros and cons. Fridge pros. Hot food, cold sauce. It's quite good. Makes everything, every, it's good. You know, it's good, it's much better. It's quite good, yes. Fresh. Things don't go off in the fridge. Fridge cons. Kind of seemed a little bit wrong. Exactly. Cupboard pros. It's more socially acceptable, so you won't get bullied. Cupboard cons. Sauce belongs in the fridge, and that's a fact. You're I don't wrong. Let anyone tell All right, obviously we're gonna disagree about this. We're gonna have to go for some outside opinions. We're gonna call everyone we know. Mum. Hi, sorry. Mum didn't pick up. Mm, Darcy didn't pick up either. Damn. Our older brother. Hey, John, you've reached Harry's phone. That was f***ing quick. Uh, Alright, Jackson, call everyone you know. That was everyone I know. Two of our family members and, and one of my mates. Yep. I once met a dude down the pub who preaches at the local church, but I didn't get his number. You know what? What? It's time. It's time for what? Research. <laughs> President. Yes, it's a matter of national security. And where do you think sauce is kept? Yeah, very interesting thoughts, Donald, but I need a definite answer! And where do you think sauce is kept? Here, not here. Jackson, I couldn't seem to find a solution. Neither could I. Wait a minute. What? What's this? What? It says, refrigerate after opening. Oh my god! We solved the mystery! We solved it! Woo! And just like that, another mystery is solved by the Fairbairn boys. Sauce belongs in the fridge, technically. But also, put it in the cupboard if you want. Who gives a fuck? This argument is stupid. Go get a hobby. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye. Just in there, the doctor's waiting for you. Yeah, just take, just take a seat right there. Alright, young man, what seems to be the problem? Okay, well, I keep getting this really bad stomach ache whenever I... Let's have a look at your arm. What? Let me see your arm. Why? Oh, come on, give us a look. Hmm, yeah, it's just as I thought. It's gonna have to go. Yeah, g'day, Karen. Uh, can you get my amputation equipment ready? What the fuck? Gonna have to chop that one off, I'm afraid. There's nothing wrong with my arm. You got the shingles. I can see it from here. 
I don't have the shingles. That is the shingles, if I ever saw it. There's nothing wrong with my arm. Yeah, nothing beside the shingles. What even is shingles? We need to stop wasting time with all this tomfoolery and get that goddamn arm off. That's not happening. What's up with your eye? Nothing's up with my eye. No, 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 stop. This is serious. Let me have a look. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, you got a bung eye. I'm gonna have to take that one out. You're not taking out my eye. The eye's gotta go, mate. It's no use to you. My eye's perfect. That's up for debate. I'm not taking out my eye. Do you want to rock off on it? Paper scissors. Mate, what's your problem? We need to get your arm off and your eye out ASAP. What the f*** are you on? Karen, where's my- Fucking Karen, she's useless. You're useless. Look, just because this is my first day on the job doesn't mean you can treat me with- It's your first day on the job? Just because I technically cheated during every medical exam doesn't give you the right- Oh my god, what am I doing here? Just because I'm not legally registered to practice medicine and if the cops showed up I'd be arrested immediately who are you? My real name is Vladimir and I am on the run from the Ukrainian government. Who are you really? You want the truth? My real name's Colton. I'm a rancher from North Carolina. Shut the f*** up. Tell me who you are. The name's Jemerson. I'm an Irish explorer. Drop the shit. Who are you? I'm medical practitioner Pete Johnson. This was all a test to see how likely you are to take medical advice from clearly unqualified doctors. Oh, <sighs> really? Yep. Whew. Now, let's take that arm off. Right, yeah, it's it was hanging, sick hanging out. Yeah, yeah. alright, well, I'll catch you later, hey. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yep, get off. What the f***? Lachlan, where's the sauce? It's in the fridge. In the where? The fridge. Why would you put it? Lachlan, why is the sauce in the fridge? So it's nice and cold. It's not a fresh can of lemonade, Lachlan. It's Tomato sauce. Well, you wouldn't heat up tomato sauce. Usually, you want the sauce to be cooler than the food you're putting it on. Of course, you wouldn't warm up sauce. Sauce is good at room temperature. No, when you have hot food and cold sauce, it's perfect. Lachlan, tomato sauce is simple. All you've got to do to it is nothing. I completely disagree. I can't even begin to think of what would make a sick animal like you put sauce in the fridge. Sauce belongs in the fridge. It makes it last longer. I bet you'd last longer if I put you in the fridge. Well, uh, you probably wouldn't like to hear that the barbecue sauce is in there as well. What is wrong with you? It's a personal preference. What are you doing? I'm calling Crime Stoppers. You can't call Crime Stoppers about something that's not a crime. Yeah, my brother Lachlan, he just he put sauce in the fridge. Well, you're wrong too. Oh, it belongs in the cupboard. Go catch a f***ing robber. See, they're on my side. Lachlan, one day you're going to look back and realise you're on the wrong side of history. This is about what temperature you should store sauce at. It's about much more than that. It's about being a part of a functioning society. Well, if it's bothering you being cold so much, why don't you just chuck it in the microwave for a bit? Look, chuck it in the mic. Were you raised by wolves? I'm just trying to think of a solution here. I'm going to put this in the cupboard. No! It belongs in the cupboard. Sauce belongs in the fridge. I don't want to live in the same house as you anymore. Why don't you just have something else to eat? Fine. I'll have some toast. You sick bastard! What up, I'm Lachlan. Take it that you're Jackson. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. Right, so is this your first McDonald's training session? Yeah, it is. Alright, let's get to the basics. First thing you do when you start your shift. Walk through the door. Boot the ice cream machine. Boot the ice cream machine? Yeah, you just give it a kick. It takes about eight kicks for it to break. If everybody kicks it on the way in, it should break by about four o'clock. Why would you want to intentionally break the ice cream machine? It's still policy. Next thing you need to do, go into the barbecue sauce box, pull out a few of them, put them in the sweet and sour box. What, mix them up? Yeah, just so there's a slight chance of getting it wrong. 
Why would we do that? Next, someone comes through the drive-thru, they seem a little busy. Take the person's order, but don't put it into the system. What? Then you tell them to wait in bay 3. Wait 15 minutes, then put the order in. When you bring them their order, apologise for the wait and offer them a complimentary soft serve. But what if the ice cream machine's broken? Exactly! Now, when you're putting a meal together, you need to get at least one thing wrong every time. Wrong sauce, no sauce, no napkins... Every time? Yes, and if you want to go above and beyond, f*** with their burger. Forget the mayo, too much mayo... Have you ever had three times a recommended dose of mayonnaise? Why would I do that? Do what? All of this! All of what? Why do you want me to do my job so poorly? Listen, Jackson, we have a responsibility out there to keep expectations low. Once we start providing good service, people start expecting good service. People are going to come to Macca's anyway. There's no reason to raise the bar too high for ourselves. Do you know what I mean? I decided to work here because I have a passion for quality food and service. Did you say that at the job interview? Yes. How the f*** did you get through? You're the one that hired me. Right. I took a chance on you. I saw something in you that no one else saw. I saw potential for shit service. I want to do my job properly. Right, well we'll stick you on the graveyard shift for the next 12 weeks. That'll sap the joy from your soul pretty quick. Why can't you just teach me how to do the job properly? Because my manager didn't do that to me, and his manager didn't do that to him. Why would I start now? This place is a disgrace. Maybe you just aren't cut out for it. Maybe I'm not. Well then get out of here if you're going to have that attitude. Lachlan. What? I got something to tell you. What? My name's not actually Jackson. My name's Anthony McDonald and I'm the CEO of McDonald's. This has been a quality control test and you have passed. No way. Look at cameras there, there. How did I not see them? You display the McDonald's spirit and hold your ground when challenged. That's exactly what we're looking for in a manager. Thank you. Now go out there and get things wrong. Yes, sir. Yeah, hello, this is Principal O'Loughlin speaking. Is this Bus Jackson I'm talking to? Hello, Principal. Yeah, this is Bus Jackson. Great. Now, Bus. Your name is Bus? Yes, my name is Bus. Okay. Well, um, I've called to talk to you about your son. He goes to my school. Oh, yeah. Uh, what about him? Well, you see, Bus, he's um, going through some troubles at our school. First of all, he's getting bullied quite horrendously. Well, I can't see why that would be. Okay, well, for starters, any kid whose father's name is Bus is off to a f***ing terrible start. Hmm. Okay. Also, your son's name's Jackson, right? Yes. And your name is Bus Jackson? That is correct. Therefore, your son's name is Jackson Jackson. Hmm. Yeah, no, we didn't, uh, we didn't realize that until his fourth birthday. Okay, well, Jackson's getting f***ing ruined out there in the playground. And he's only in year eight. He's still got all of high school to go being called Jackson Jackson. Well, I actually thought it was quite a nifty name. Jackson Jackson. Also, you're from America, right? Yep, Wisconsin. Born and bred, sir. Okay, so why is Jackson attending a school in Australia? Well, his mother and I wanted to send him away to get the best education. He goes to Coomanduke Area School. We've got 40 kids here. The nearest large town is three hours away. Well, you know what they say. Send the kids away and, uh, and get them some experience. I don't know who he's supposed to be living with at the moment, but as far as we know, he's been living on the streets. Word is that he's joined a bush gang. Yeah, oh, hold up, I got another call coming in. Oh, it's Jackson! Here, let me add him in. Hello? Hello, son. Dad? Yes, it's me, son. Dad, do I get to see you this year? Hmm, afraid not, son. I'm, I'm, I think the budget's a little too tight after all of my visits to the zoo. Oh, just like last year, then. Well, I, I do like the zoo. Jackson, how long's it been since you saw Bus? About four years, I think. Bus, you'd rather go to the zoo than see your own son? Well, I sure do love the zoo. Okay, Bus, your son has been getting some of the worst grades we've seen on record. That's because I can't read. Yeah, he can't read. Why the hell not? Yeah, we don't have any clue. He was just born like that. You do know you have to learn how to read after you're born. Yeah, Jackson's always been more of a sporty kid anyway. That's not true. Jackson's been kicked off every sports team he's been on. That's because I can't run. Yeah, he can't run. What kind of kid can't run? Honestly, we have no idea. As soon as he came out, he just could not run. This is blowing my mind. Yeah, you know, it's been a really great uh, chat, but I gotta go. Where are you going? To the zoo. Jackson, have you ever been to the zoo? What's a zoo? 
Oh, boys, you keen for the PowerPoint presentation today? You mean the, you mean the one next week? No, it's today. The presentation is today. You've got to be kidding me. We f***ing did it again. Oh my god. How did we do it again? Why do we always do this? Oh. Bro, you're up first. I've already told Mr. Robson you're ready. Why would you do that? Don't argue, mate. you got 40 seconds. Get ready. Ah, Lachlan Jackson. I heard you guys got a really nice presentation put together for the class. Had a bit of time to do this one, so I've got high expectations, alright? Hi. Hi. We're Lachlan. I'm Jackson. Lachlan and Jackson. And this is our PowerPoint presentation on about his history. history. <laughs> let's, oh, let's get into it. History <laughs> began. <laughs> history <laughs> began in, in, nine, in 1674. 1674. <laughs> history was invented by <laughs> Jonathan. Jonathan. Doesn't even say why. History was invented, Jonathan History. Jeremy England discovered England while looking for his goat that had fallen in the water while going for a canoe. That is why the national animal of England is the goat and the national boat is the canoe. <laughs> Only 12 people have ever been to New Zealand. This is because there is not very much land mass. And an evil war baron has claimed much for that. That's a f***ing lie! Folks! <laughs> that is not part of history! France smell... <laughs> Why does France smell like poo? Around 1927, France started smelling like poo. Scientists and algebraologists from around the globe were flown in to figure out why. Top bronchologist Damien Rogerstein was killed on the field. How? <laughs> why is that mentionable? From the smell of poo. The smell. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Evacuations of France began in 1932 and currently not anyone lives there. Uh -huh. <laughs> not quite true. For 30 years, one man has been the most wanted and dangerous criminal in the world. Who? <laughs> Brenton. <laughs> What's his last name? Who is that? <laughs> Brenton is currently the biggest threat to the free world. The military have been deployed to stop him, but... <laughs> Many fear <laughs> it is too late. Yeah, yes, that's it. Was, it was Brenton. <laughs> he looks like too he's much. He's dangerous. Brenton. <laughs> when will Brenton's reign of terror end? You haven't even said anything that Brenton's done. You just said he's evil. Look at him. It's not even the same guy. It is the same <laughs> guy. Oh. The television was invented by Stanley Vision, eighteen twenties. In the 1820s. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for watching our, our presentation. presentation. Nice. Yeah, yeah, just wondering if I could actually quit my job. Jimmy? Yeah? No hat, no play. You know the rules? The sun's not even, it's cloudy. I don't care if the clouds are up. Clouds actually magnify the UV rays. I didn't, I didn't bring my hat. Look, it's school policy, all right? Hey, uh, Mr. Green. Yeah, what's up? Um, do you reckon you could let me and the boys into the art room? What do you want to go in the art room for? We left all our pencil cases in there last lesson. How many of you? There's 17 of us. You and 16 of your friends left? Just the boys, yeah. All of the lads left their pencil cases in the art room? Teacher had a um, heart palpitation and we had to take him to the front office. All right, come with me, I'll let you in. Isn't it the yellow one? Not that one. Oi! Get off that! Danny! Oi! I told you not to give your sandwich to Larissa anymore. Can you go ask Mrs. Smith if she's got a key to the art room? I couldn't find Mrs. Smith, That's sir. Right. I've got it open, all right? Oh. Go in there and get your pencil cases. Now, look, I don't want you to take anything else from in there. Just getting your pencil cases, right? No stealing. I'll, I'll leave my you, pencil cases. I'll leave you to it. I'm trusting you, Jackson. 
Uh, oh, is that time already? Yeah, it comes around fast these All right. days. Just there you go. Got any update on the kids today? Anything I should know? Yeah, Billy, I saw him running. He was chasing Sarah around, so keep an eye on him. I saw Sally and the girls were smoking meth behind the PE shed. Okay, so I gave him a warning. Yeah. And if I see them doing it once more, I'm going to have to give them lunchtime detention. Hey, 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 Lenny, Lenny. What's up? No running on hard surfaces, mate. You, what are you? I was, I was on the grass. That was quite obviously not on the grass, I was running Lenny. on the grass. Mate, you're in year three. <laughs> Mr. Green! Yo, what's up? Steven did a body lob and he didn't even call it. And now he's supposed to be in pov, but he's staying in queen. All right, well. He didn't call okay, it. Right, Sarah right, should be right. in pov. You're going to have to tell Steven that I said... Play it off as a liner. I oh, know it's not fair. Okay, he should be in pov, I agree. But play it off as a liner and then see where the game goes from Why there. Why don't you okay? just go tell him off, sir? Who's I've, got, I've got more four square games to adjudicate. You got the keys. Go and tell Steve. I'm better at reading than him anyway. There's a fight over there. Oh, fuck, that was brutal. All right, go tell Mr. Smith to get the paramedic. Oh, fuck, that does not look good. Oi! What are you doing? Huh? What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> digging a hole, sir, with my hand. That doesn't sound like a hole digging cough to me. <laughs> Dust! Oh, it's dusty over there, is it? Look, I know what you're doing. Pause. I know what you're doing. Pause. And look, I'm not going to tell you off if you pack one for me. Alright? Okay? You know what, sir? You might have yourself a deal there. They don't call me Mr. Green for nothing, young man. Oi, Jackson, I'm going to cook us up some pasta. Alright, but make sure you don't cook too much. You know what pasta's like. Oh, don't worry about it. I'll, it'll, I'll be fine. Jackson, can you come and have a can you go have a look at this? Yeah, what's going on? Come have a look at this. What the f is going on? What the f I don't know what's just cooking pasta! Baby died, how did this even happen? Lots of people wonder how school works in Australia, so here's the lowdown under. Contrary to what you may have heard, there are no towns or cities in Australia. It's all, it's all out back. Because our population is so small, we have about a one teacher per student ratio. Hi, I'm Jiminy. This is my school. Uh, Principal Lurgloin is my teacher. I live in a wombat hole about five kilometers southwest. I ride my kangaroo Clancy to school every day. And um, he goes and plays while I do some learning. In the first couple weeks, we learn CGI so we can take out the ground harnesses in our YouTube videos. We could just take the harnesses off, but then we'd just fall into the sky. In Australia, we've only got one year of schooling, so we've had to get rid of English and maths. We don't have numbers in Australia anyway. Instead, we learn things that are relevant to Australia. We've got a whole course on photo editing. Each student gets a dog to take care of. If the dog lives, they get an A, and if it dies, they get a B. I'm aiming for an A, but but at this rate, I'm probably going to be closer to a B. Sorry, pal. We do wilderness training, which is where we dump the student in the outback for 30 days and let him fend for themselves. Cameraman! I'm so lost. Can you please help me, sir? I'm, I'm not supposed to Do you have help. any water? No. I'm I really not, need water. I'm not supposed to. It's pretty hard to do homework because I live in a wombat hole and my whole family are wombats. My family, they don't say anything. They don't speak. They don't use words. They use um, digging. The only homework I ever give out is uh, feeding the student a poisonous berry and then tasking them with making it through the night. Homework gets pretty tricky sometimes, but um, it's made my immune system pretty good. I can drink petrol now. Lurgloin teaches astrology sometimes. I like that class. Ah oh, yes, astrology. Um, if you look up there, you'll see the sun. That's a star. That's about it. We've got a class in tree climbing. Nice technique, just work on the hand grip a bit there. We've got another class in fence hopping. 
Whoa. Now that was outstanding, Jiminy. You've really, you've really shown improvement. On the last day of school, we graduate the student by gifting them an Akubra hat and sending them off into the wilderness. Wait, where'd you say I was going? No. No, 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 no. Not this again. No, please, don't make me do this. Can I just have some water? There's no f***ing water out there. Look at that. That's where I'm going. How are you going, father? Oh, I'm good, daughter. I can't move. But besides that... Would you like any soup? I would love some soup. Fresh cabbage soup. I'll get you cabbage soup. Thank you, daughter. Tell me, where is Charlie? Charlie's gone to play some games with his friends. Oh, I can't quite move my head. I've been I've been bedridden for a tw for 20 years. 20 years too long. I know. Open your mouth. Ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have no movement in my neck. Can you help me move my head, dear daughter? Maybe one day you'll be able to run and dance like all the kids. I've been bedridden for so many years. How um, many years has it been, my 40, dear? 40, 45, 45 years. years I've been in this oh, one yes. bed. Oh, hang on. What was that? Was that a knock on the door? That must be Charlie. Charlie's home. Charlie Bucket. Oh. My, my dear grandson. Charlie? Oh, Charlie. Come on. What have you got? I've got a... I was eating some chocolate and I found this golden ticket. A, go a golden ticket? Yeah. Grandpa Joe's gonna love this. Don't let's take go. My ticket. Let's go tell him. Grandpa Joe's in his usual He's spot. Just in there. I'll put a cup of coffee on. Celebrations. Hey, Gramps. Ah, oh, Charlie, my grandson. Yep. What have you been up to today? Just been lying down like every other day of my entire life. Nothing. Nothing new. No, no, nothing new. I moved my head once. That's what I did. Oh, that's good. A bit of oscillation in the neck. There. Yes, it was nice. Anything exciting happened today? No, nothing. What about you? Anything exciting happened for you? I um, I found this golden ticket. What? I found this. I found this golden ticket. It's for the chocolate factory down the road. You went and found a golden ticket. Grandpa. Charlie, let me see. It's real. It says golden ticket on it. What else could it be? Grandpa, you haven't moved for 45 years. Why didn't you do this like two, I don't know, four decades ago? What are you talking about? So Charlie, are we going to the factory or what? Are you coming with? Yeah, I guess so. You're taking you me? You walk a grandpa? You're taking me? I mean, you don't even... Ah! <laughs> I haven't thumped my head on a wall in a long time. Right. Charlie, would you like to come to the gym with me later this afternoon? I'm thinking of doing a 10K run and then we'll smash arms and then some legs as well. Rear deltoids will hit, we'll hit them hard. We gotta go to the factory. We're at 6.30. Today? Oh gosh, how are we gonna fit in all our exercise? Charlie, hold this. Oh, my knee. Charlie, help me, Charlie. Yeah, put this on. Help him, my old mate. No, 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 help me with my handstand technique. We got nationals next week. What? Come on. Come on, I need to help with my form. Where's the ticket? F the ticket. You have the ticket, right? <laughs> I've got the ticket. <laughs> How's my form, Charlie? So when did you know how to skate, Grandpa? Charlie, let me have a look at that golden ticket. Did you realise this is a fake? It's a piece of pen written on a piece of paper. It's a golden ticket. No, 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 the golden ticket. I just assumed, because... The golden tickets are actually golden. You haven't won, Charlie. What did you say? Mum says this ticket's fake, apparently. <clears throat> the ticket is fake? Yeah. That was fine while it lasted, though, eh? Gramps. I am bedridden once more. Gramps, get up. I cannot. He's ran around for like two hours. I have no use for my limbs now any longer. I want to either go to the factory or I am never walking again. You little shit. Do you want me to carry you back to bringing me a fake ticket like you're some kind yeah. of superhero? I'll take you back to bed. I can't walk, Charlie. What yeah. part of bedridden don't you understand? I'll take you back to bed. Fucking... Come on, Grant. It's not going to work any longer. I'm taking you to bed. I'm Jesus. never walking again. I thought we were going to the fucking factory. Tuck me in once more. All right, Lachlan. What? 
You know how we've banned cereal in this house because we can't decide which goes first, milk or cereal? Well, it's cereal first, but whatever. Well, obviously it's milk, but we'll move past that. Okay, we'll move past it, but it's clearly cereal, but I don't, whatever, I don't even care. I don't care either, and it doesn't even matter, but milk goes first, and I'll kill anyone that says anything otherwise. Alright, I think this is why we banned cereal. Yeah, anyway, I think I have a solution that we can both live with. A solution to our cereal stale, mate. Yes, but it has to be done this way, otherwise one of us will commit a murder. Okay, well tell me the solution. Okay, instead of milk first, or cereal first... Yes? What if we do them both at the same time? No. Yes, Lachlan. This will break the milk cereal continuum. We are scientific pioneers. Well, I'll be. Madness, right? So you can just... Yep. Both at the same time? Yep. And that's not illegal. Oh, there was nothing in the terms and conditions on the box. Does it work with... It works with anything. You might have just changed the world. I know, I'm going to patent it. So people have to pay me when they want to do it. You can't patent pouring milk and cereal at the same time. Yes, I can. Can you? Yep, no, yeah, of course I would. Alright. Turns out I can't. Jackson, you know what this means. What? We can have cereal in the house now. Yes, Lachlan, I solved the cereal conundrum. Yes! Alright, Lachlan, I'm going to make you a cereal. Oh, no, that's okay. I don't really like cereal. What? Oh, I'm just not that into cereal, so I'll pass on that one. Thanks, bro. All this arguing, and you don't even have a horse in this race! Yeah, I've actually never made a cereal before. You've never made a- I'm going back to milk first. No! We wake up in the morning, and the first thing we do is let our eyes adjust to the upside-downness of Australia. You see, because Australia is on the bottom of the earth, everything's upside down. Most Australians learn to get used to this pretty quickly, but when you wake up, it can take a couple of seconds to adjust. Then it's time to walk to the kitchen and have breakfast. For breakfast, we have Vegemite toast. Anything else is illegal. Then you gotta deal with any issues that come up on the farm. Jackson, all the kangaroos got out. Well, let's go get them then. So we lost them all then? Yeah, we lost them all. By now, it should probably be about time for lunch. The only thing you're allowed to eat for lunch is Vegemite sandwiches. After lunch, you then need to deal with anything else that comes up. Jackson, all the koalas are missing. We don't even have koalas. Yeah, I got some yesterday. Well, let's go get them then. We lost them all? Yep, they're all gone. Now, after a hard day of misplacing native wildlife, you've earned yourself a little break. We retreat to the living room and watch clips from Crocodile Dundee. Don't know that one. But, you know, somebody get a drink. Wanna join me? Then, at four o'clock every day, it's time to recite Australian poetry. Okay, there was a movement in the station. No, there was movement at the station. Ah, okay, I'll get it, I'll get it. Then at five o'clock, it's art time. At this time, we spend one hour looking at this painting of men shearing. Do you see the... Oh yeah. Then when it's six o'clock, it's whip cracking time. <laughs> For dinner, we eat leftover Vegemite toast and sandwiches from throughout your day. And then it's bedtime. To help get to sleep, we put on a classic Australian lullaby. Good night from Australia. Boys. Mr. Robson. Mr. Robson. Ready for your end of year assessments today? What? Your end of year assessments are due today. These will determine your grade for the whole year. Probably follow you for the rest of your life. Oh yeah, lucky we did that then. Your options were to do a 10,000 word essay each or work together on one last PowerPoint. What did you guys choose? The PowerPoint. Well, we chose to do the PowerPoint. Great. See you up there in five minutes. You made a PowerPoint? Nope. Good morning. Hello. I'm Jackson. And I'm Lachlan. And this is our presentation, PowerPoint presentation on beans. beans. Take Talk yourself together, Dustin. <laughs> we haven't even began yet. This is a PowerPoint <laughs> power about being. This PowerPoint will contain. The purpose of this PowerPoint is to inform you about beans. Beans and bean information will be the sole focus of this PowerPoint. Please strap yourself in and join me for the bean journey. Bean facts. Beans <laughs> are produced in factories that are large called large bean factories. <laughs> beans are tasty as a snack, as a snack. <laughs> but also if you eat lots of them at once, they could be <laughs> <laughs> No f***ing shit! You can do that with anything! <laughs> beans make you fart so that time, 
What? So that time I farted in maths last week, it's because I had lots of beans for breakfast, okay, Jessica? It wasn't because I fart a lot in general. I feel yeah. like that one was for yeah, you. Yeah, I wrote that one was from me. Yeah. Our connection to bean. <laughs> what the f***? What is this slide? Just kick up. <laughs> I've never seen that man in my life! Lachlan! <laughs> Our father Ronald Fairburn, pictured here, was a top producer of beans in the 1980s and he has told us everything we need to know to grow some beans. <laughs> Here's Ronald hard at work. Hang on. That's a different man! Lachlan! First, he inspects the beans for quality. Oh. Picture of our f***ing dad right there! That's not him! <clears throat> then forces us to pick them for hours on end. Magic beans. History tells us that Jack the little shit traded a cow for some beans. What a proper dumbass. In what world is a cow worth the same as some beans? He has one of the worst minds for business and transactions we've ever seen. <laughs> what a dumbass. Look at him. <laughs> Bean cousins. <laughs> Here we have orange beans. <laughs> Not wrong. Here we have green beans. <laughs> <laughs> they are bean cousins. <laughs> <laughs> Recently, a group of bean gangsters have been running rampant on the streets. They are lethal, and it is our recommendation that you stay indoors during the conflict. Yeah. The bean police say they have... <laughs> what the f*** is that from? <laughs> the bean police say they have it under control, but they don't have a clue what's going on. It's a free-for-all. The bean gangsters are taking control of the cities, as we speak, coffee beans are up to something. <laughs> they are so dark and mysterious. We don't quite know what their deal is. But they're up to something. What are they hiding? Um, thank, Thanks for thank watching, you for watching beans. Presentation, presentation on beans. On beans. <clears throat> Alright, what I'm going to do is actually pass you um, purely because I don't want to see one of them ever again for the rest of my life. Jesus Christ. Are you in need of a lawyer? Do you have some law that needs getting done? Well, you've stumbled across the right 1990s television commercial because that is exactly what we do. Law. That was, that was implied. I was just making sure that they You don't need to reiterate after. I was just making it's sure that been said. We are the best law people. Lawyers. We are the best lawyers in the country. We check. Hi, does your law firm have any lawyers better than us? Didn't think so. This is because of the sheer number of laws we know. We know so many laws. Probably more than the judge. You can trust us to get you the law outcome you desire. Whatever that may be, we'll get you away with murder. Well, no, don't encourage that. Go out and commit a murder. Bring it to us, test us, we'll get you away with goddamn murder! No! At Johnston & Johnston, Law is our middle name. It's literally our middle name. Mum gave us both the middle name Law. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. It's completely unrelated to our practice. Why would she give us both the same middle name? Make At Johnston & Johnston, our law is your law. Hmm. Welcome to Johnson & Johnson. I'm Chip Johnson. That's Randy. Howdy! Got some law that needs doing? I just have like a parking fine I want to see if I can dispute. Well say no more. Come with me. Just take a seat right here. So uh, what can we do you for? Just had a parking fine I wanted to dispute. Did you do a murder? No. Oh no no no, don't tell me, don't tell me. I didn't do a murder. I said don't tell me! Wink if you did a murder. I didn't do a murder. Was that a wink or a blank? You know what, just 
Just tell me, did you do a murder? I haven't murdered anyone, I just want to dispute a parking fine. And who gave you this parking fine? The parking inspector. The bastard. And what did you do with his body after you murdered him? No one's been murdered. There, there's no murder. A little bit of murder. No murder. A little bit. No murder. Denies murder. Are you going to help me with this or not? Gregory. I never told you my name. We're going to get to the bottom of this if it kills us. And it probably will. Law is dangerous. Your law is our law. That doesn't make any sense. We got this, Greg. Get out of here. Go on, Greg. Get out of here. Get out of here, Greg. Get your bum out of here. It's not Greg. Go. Get out of here, Greg. Don't let the door hit you on the way out, Greg. Scram. Get out of here, Greg. You got nothing to worry about, Greg. We got this. Get out of here, Greg. Get out of here. You're safe in our hands, Greg. Get out of here, Greg. Get out of here, Greg. Get out of here. Greg. Get out of what here. are you still doing here, Greg? Get, get out. out. Here, Greg. Get out of here. Get out of here, Greg. What the fuck are we doing? I don't know, we're in way over our heads. This is our first client. I know. Why do we have to choose such a high profile case? It's gonna be a media fiasco. The cameras will be waiting out the door. You know what we're gonna have to do now? What? We're gonna have to get out of this using the law. That's exactly what an actual lawyer would do. We are actual lawyers. Right. To the law room. Randy, I've had a breakthrough. We've had a breakthrough? I've had a breakthrough. Greg, we've had a breakthrough. This isn't really the sort of thing you can have a breakthrough on. I just want to dispute my parking fine. Are you a lawyer? Are you? Yes. All right, I'll be over soon. You can walk me through what's happening. Come in. Take a seat. Now, about the case. Yes, the case. We've found several loopholes. Several strategies. A couple of options to pursue. It involves a subpoena. And a deposition. Maybe multiple depositions. Lads, what is going on? What? All I want to know is can I legally dispute my parking fine? Well, according to the jurisdictional powers of the county sheriff... Do I have the right legally to dispute the fine? Randy, can I speak with you privately for a second? Of course. I don't know any laws. I don't know any laws. I thought you knew a couple of laws. I don't even know most of the road rules. We're gonna have to go in there and tell Gregory we have no idea what we're doing. Agreed. We know exactly what we're doing. Never had more confidence in a case. So what's the answer? We don't actually know. You don't know? Uh, didn't learn that one, I'm afraid. You don't know the law around parking fines? Yes, that's the only law we don't know. Do you know any laws? Of course we know laws. What's a law then? <laughs> Murder is illegal. illegal. Murder is illegal. Wow. Beating someone up, that's okay if they deserve... No, no, no. It's illegal most of the time. Always. Always. It's illegal always. always. Beating someone up is always illegal. Look, mate, if there's one thing I know back to front, it's the law. Well, obviously not. If you can't handle our style of practice, then get the hell out of here! Your style is being completely unqualified. Get out of here! Hit the road, champ! Shouldn't have paid us up front. Financially irresponsible! Get the hell out of here! Get out of here! Get out of our what office! What are you still doing here? Get out of our office! Get out of here! Get out of our office Scram! Now. Yeah, scram! Lawyers! Lawyers.